You don't have to answer this question you don't want to, but Jordan or LeBron? We're talking about the GOAT here. <clears throat> the greatest of all time. The greatest of all time. They're both the greatest of all time in their different eras. Remember the Hurts commercial? Not exactly. <laughs> Tango's gonna talk to Spike Lee. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. So let's get this out of your way. What's your mom's name? Mom's name is Keisha. And where's Keisha from? Keisha's from Brooklyn. <laughs> well, it's the People's Republic of Brooklyn. <laughs> what neighborhood? You well, we're a couple. Of, we're a couple of blocks away from Flatbush. Flatbush. Yeah. Yeah. Now, were you in Brooklyn before you went to Canada? What's tell me the the the. So my mom. The, the, I need there. I need the sciences and the mathematics. All right, I got you. <laughs> so my mom grew up there, right. and then um, she went to St. John's, where she met my dad. Right. And then from there, they started going to Europe, and then mm -hmm. I was born. But I would come here every summer. So you got a Puma deal? Yeah. Well, now you know, growing up, you know that war, right? Bruh? Pumas. Bruh? Well, Frazier. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Clyde Frazier. And then they, they're like the red ones, so the red dye would get on your, your tube socks. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so why you got on Nikes now? What's up? Like, you ever seen She's Gonna Have It? Mars Blackman? Michael Jordan? Oh, yeah, we changed yeah. the game, baby. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> we changed I'll the let, game. I'll let you have that one. The okay. GOAT. All right. You're right. You can't go wrong with those. All right. Okay. So, oh, just tell us about this journey. Mm -hmm. It's been great. Growing up, were you, were you a Knicks fan or Lakers? I was always a Knicks fan. Yeah. Just because Who was on the Knicks then? Bernard King? I didn't really like, like, um, because, I mean, I'm young. Yeah, so, yeah. I would watch more of the old, the old games. Like, mm -hmm. I would always watch when they played against the Pacers. Yeah, like, uh -huh. Back then, I would watch those games. So I was oh, like, Oh, you John thought Stark. I lost the game too? Nah. With Reggie Miller? Nah, that was really funny though. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny though. <laughs> That's a long, long time ago. Long, 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 long. That was funny though. But long nah, time ago. Josh Stark was my guy. I yeah, yeah. I was like the way he played. Yeah, I used so to wear the jersey, team. you know, in the back in the day, but. Uh, yeah, I mean. So the draft night. Uh-huh. <laughs> were your fingers and toes crossed for any particular team, was it, were the colors orange and blue? Yeah, you know I wanted to go to the Knicks. <laughs> I put it out there. <laughs> yes, sir. I wanted to go to the Knicks, so yeah. I was I was happy when, you know, when I heard my name call. Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, until last year, I hated Duke. <laughs> <laughs> I hated Duke. I mean, Duke, oh! But last year, a lot of people of color were like, you know, mm -hmm. right or wrong. Right. Duke has a reputation. Yeah. No disrespect to Coach K, mm -hmm. one of the greatest coach ever. But Duke, the Plumleys and all them guys, <laughs> we're like, Whoa. but when you was up, I wasn't the only one. Like, like I was at the game. Yeah. Uh -huh. we the heard the, the that sneaky a lot. game. We heard that a lot for sure. Yeah. And so I, you've heard this before, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We would just be like walking around. Even like if we were walking in the mall, people would come up to us like, I've never been a Duke fan, but like y'all are changing the game. So yeah. that, was, that was great. That was mm -hmm. cool to see. When's the last time you spoke to Zion? Been a minute? Last week. Yeah. I was with him last week. Yeah? Yeah, we had this rookie thing. We were together, so. Yeah. Is, he, is he getting in shape? Yeah, he's good. I'm he's out. fine. He's fine. Oh, yeah. He's fine. <laughs> he's like, the thing is, he's crazy athletic, so yeah. he doesn't, he can, first of all, he can get in shape like that. Everybody. Mm -hmm. During the summer, so mm -hmm. he's fine. So school's over. Mm -hmm. You guys are hanging out. We have, just between you and him. We guys are talking about the draft, that, or just said we're not talking about that. We would 100, talk about 100, it. 100, 100, 100. Nah, we would talk about it. Yeah. Often, it's just. What, what was the conversation? The conversation was like, it was never who's gonna go first because mm -hmm. like we're boys, so we didn't really care yeah. who went first. Yeah, it ain't like that. Yeah, it was more like it was love, love, love. Yeah, right? it was more what team, mm -hmm. what team you would go to, and it was like you just never know. That's the thing. 
let's have a bombshell right here. Yeah. Did he want to go there? Did he want the Knicks? If they had the first pick, yes, sir. He wanted to come to New York? If they had the Is first pick. Is that public? Pick. No, if they had the first public pick. Public now? Yeah, he said that. <laughs> we all said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never Cause, read that. Because we, uh, cause we were, um, we oh, played whoa, at the whoa, Garden. Whoa, whoa. Listen, listen, we played at the Garden, and then after the game, they were asking us, like, will we play for New York? Oh, the, that Way was before. during the... Yeah. Oh, right. So that, that was oh, public. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I remember that. Exactly. So it was just like, who'd you play that? We played Texas Tech, and they they went to the finals this year. So what are you looking forward to your your rookie year mm-hmm. at the world's most famous arena, mm-hmm. Madison Square Garden? What's your number? Nine. Nine. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's my dad's numbers. What I'm really looking forward is to just playing in the NBA, and then with the Knicks, like. I just think of the history of the franchise. You know what? Trying to get we back. We can't to lose them. that the team exactly. across the river. Oh yeah, we got across them, like what second game? You know, my, the Barkley uh, is sent four blocks to my office. Uh huh. So <laughs> we cannot lose Dude, we got to them the game. whole. I don't even care if Durant comes back next year. We can't <laughs> lose to them once. We got a second game, so that would be cool. Right off it, the jump. Yeah. On the road or yeah, on the road? Yeah. That should be fine. Is there any particular player you're looking forward to going up against? The one would be Zion, right? That would be fun. But I'm really looking forward to playing against um, James Harden and LeBron because those are my two favorite players. Harden, who else? LeBron. Yeah. And uh, and Giannis. Those are my like three favorite players. So. Will you will you go go up against them? Yeah. With with your with your position? I'll go up against James Harden and uh, maybe LeBron. Probably not Giannis, though. <laughs> maybe if it's switch, but... Uh, <laughs> we'll leave that alone. No, we'll leave that alone. <laughs> this game is nice, right? Oh, yeah. It doesn't make any sense. It's just certain people, mm-hmm. like, like Ben Simmons is a 6'9 point guy. It just doesn't make no sense. Mm-hmm. So walk around New York when, you know, everybody knows we know all who our guys are. So what, 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 what's, what's, the street, what's the street saying to you when you walk around? The street. Well, the faithful, orange and blue faithful. Everybody's just telling me like, we gotta get back. Like, yeah. we just gotta get back to. So you feel that, right? Back. Yeah. Everybody wants. To, everybody wants to win, and I like that because that's all I'm about. But so. they, you know, they're dogging us though. Yeah. But nah, we good. You we good? good? We gonna be all right. You be all right? We got some good pieces this year, so. Yeah. We just got to work. It's gonna be a grind. So when you visit, mm. how many visits guys get get now? Four or five. five. What what are the teams you what were your, what were your visits to schools, universities? I visited Arizona. Arizona. Arizona is Arizona State. No, Arizona. Arizona. Kentucky. Kentucky. Oregon. Oregon. Duke. Duke. And that was it. That's it? Yeah. Uh Cali Perry, you know, the, you need to get on you and like, come on, come on. It was I like Kentucky, mm-hmm. but I don't know. When I went to when I went to Duke, it was more like like the, we had something called the Brotherhood. Yeah, and like they just welcomed me right away from day one. So I just I felt more. You know, going my there. one of my little cousins, my play. I mean, I'm, he calls me Unc. I call him cousin. He's he's the top point guard going to college. Who? Cole Anthony. Oh yeah. And he's going to. Yeah, you go to see, yeah. I said, man, you you cannot go to Duke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said you cannot go to Duke. I, I worry about it. That's a that's a dub anyways. You don't worry about them over there. <laughs> don't worry about He's nice though. He is nice. You see him play? Yeah. Very he nice. He can go. Yeah, he averaged like a you know, I think he averaged a triple double this year in high school. Yeah. He's nice. But he we're not go. worried about it. We, well, you're, 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 you're recruiting class coming in? Uh, yeah, we good nice. on this side. Mm-hmm. You're going to go back and have to get, uh, you look at the schedule, you, I mean, you can go back to see some games? Oh, I'm, I'll definitely see some games. Yeah. And they play at the Garden twice, so hopefully I can catch one of those. Oh, we home? Uh-huh. They play at the Garden twice, so. And you and we're home? I don't I don't know. Oh. I don't know the schedule. I haven't looked at it yet, but I know they play. They play. But if, the, if so. you're in New York City, if I'm in New and York, we're City, all, and we're all and we're playing, going, you'll be at the I'll garden. Be there. <laughs> I will be there, courtside watching. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So have you have you spoke? He didn't come to the, the draft night, Coach K, right? I didn't mm-hmm. see him. So have you spoken to him? Did he call you that night? 
he called me uh, during summer league. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He called me just make sure I was okay. And mm -hmm. yeah, he's a cool guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody loves playing for Coach K. Yeah. He's, he gives you the freedom to do what you need to do. So how far is, is what is the mile, the miles between Duke and UNC? What, five, six, seven? Yeah, it's about like 10, 15 minutes away. So, is there any interaction between the guys? I mean, just, you, you see them around. Yeah. I, mean, like I, I, I know I went to high school with one of the guys that's on the team. So, like, we kind of know each other. And sometimes, uh, well, last year, a couple of their guys came over to Duke. And then we weren't going there. But. They came over the, the, they, the run or just, just be on no, campus? Just to be on campus yeah. chilling. So uh -huh. I've heard in the past guys go over, so it's not. So it's chill, right? Yeah, it's chill. But on the court, it's definitely different. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's chill. A game? Them camera crazies? <laughs> I mean, it is. It's bananas in there. The game you were at, I felt the floor shaking. Yeah? <laughs> The floor, right before tip off, the floor was shaking. I was like, oh, wow. I was dead too. I mean, it was like. Right? It was. So, all right. Was the first 90 seconds? Mm hmm. Tell us what you saw mm -hmm. with the, the sneaker fiasco. I'm not going to say what type mm -hmm. of. Nah, so, I'm not going to say what type of sneaker it was, but the, <laughs> <laughs> the fiasco. So, the thing is, I didn't from even. You, from your viewpoint. I didn't even see it. No? I just saw him slip and then they were going the other way. So I was thinking about getting back. You had to get back, right? But I didn't see it at all until really he walked off the court and he had a shoe on. But I didn't. I didn't see it. But did you see it was torn? No, nah, I didn't see. I didn't see anything. Nah. Like, in the game, you're not really paying attention. Whatever happened at that, that that that? I think he has it. That's valuable. Yeah, he has it. <laughs> <laughs> he not giving it up. But nah. did you in the locker room? Did you look at it? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It yeah. was completely the whole side of the shoe was like gone. And then, was he was he crying in the, in the locker room? Or? I think he was in the training room during the game. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Mom, his whole family went back there too. I saw him. Definitely got emotional. I mean, we talked about that game all year at home, like against UNC. That's the game you want to be in. Mm -hmm. So like, Obama's there. Obama, everybody. Baseline. So like, even when we we went and he played the last game and we beat them, but it's yeah. like it's still not the same as playing at home. Mm -hmm. So it's sad the way it turned out, but. We got a dub, so it was okay. Yeah. So let's think about this. Draft night mm. comes down to three teams. <laughs> the Knicks, mm -hmm. New Orleans, mm -hmm. and who's the other team? Memphis? Memphis. So, let's be honest. I only worked out for Well, well just say no. <laughs> People wanted Zion. Yeah. But we, don't, we never know. Look, I don't, you know how these things work out. But three picks left. The commissioner, good guy. Mm hmm very good guy, Adam, Adam Silver, commissioner, comes out. What was going through your mind? So when he was about to announce number three. Were you holding your mother's hand? The whole, the whole five minutes in the way, the whole five minute wait, that was the longest wait of my life. I was just- Were, were, were people, would they leave you alone? Your, your, your folks or what? Yeah, you? they were, I just, I didn't want anybody to talk to me. You, zone, was, you zoned out? I was zoned out. Did you have, to, you have to say that or they just knew? They just knew. <laughs> leave. They just knew, leave me alone. I didn't hear anything. Dear, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. I didn't hear anything else. I was just like this the whole time. I was so nervous. That's one of the only times I've ever been nervous in my life. Yeah. And then and the commissioner came out. out. Could he he came out mad early too. Like he came out early. So now I was like, what's going on here? So the, it was loud. It got loud too, right? It got I mean, loud. You, did you? Did you know that the commissioner was coming out from the roar of the crowd and you weren't looking at the, or were you looking there? No, I, I knew he came out because I heard the crowd yeah, that's going what I'm crazy. Saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So then he, when he was about to announce the pick, when he announced the pick, I mean, 
everybody went crazy. And I won, I watched the draft their year. And that's not normal mm -hmm. for, you know, Knicks fans. And then especially we're in the Barclays Center. So I thought it was definitely going to be something different than what it was. Now, now, let me tell you, it's a Barclays Center, but we up in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We up in there. For sure. I that saw that early. Mm -hmm. so it was definitely, it was definitely crazy. Yeah. At what, at what age did you think or dream or had the goal to make the NBA and play for the Knicks? What age? When I was about 11. 11? Mm hmm. I was about 11. My dad made me write out all my goals. And then one by one, I just hit every single one of them. And then my grandpa, he was he was always a Knicks fan. So then we go to his still, house. Is he still with us? No, he's not. Yeah, so. So he was. We, every he, time he, he we'd come to, to Brooklyn, we'd be at his house. Yeah. And he had the games on all the time. <laughs> and he had the old games and he just popping in. And I'm like, Grandpa, you watch this game so many times. And he's like, you need to learn history. <laughs> so we just, that's how I became a Knicks fan. So you grew up a Knicks from back in the day. Right? Yeah, there's even a picture of me when I was young. I had the Knicks hat on and everything. <laughs> so yeah, I've been, I've been a Knicks fan. No, we have not, uh, as you notice, but for audience. We have not won an NBA championship since the 72-73 season. Mm -hmm. Our first championship was 6-9-70. I was at game seven, May 8th, 1970. The Willis Reed game, I was there. Mm -hmm. I was 13 years old. Mm -hmm. was been at, that's the loudest, I mean, I've been a lot of sporting events, but Willis Reed walked onto the court dragging his leg I mean, my ears about to well, about to bleed. That's mm -hmm. that's how that's how long it's been. So, you know, we're dependent on the young cats, man, to bring us where we need to be. So, the whole it, it with the free agency. Yeah. Did you think there was a chance you were gonna get? Were you looking forward to playing with with with, with Durant and the, thing the guy was, that says that the Earth is flat? <laughs> the thing was for me it was like the coaches just told me not to think about it at all because mm -hmm. they said there's nothing we can do or you can do. They're gonna make their own choice. Mm -hmm. So I just tried not to get my hopes up. Mm -hmm. And then because realistically, the guys that we got, we that still go got, we got right exactly. Like we still got Julius Randle who. Average 21 and 9 last year. Like, we still got some guys. Marcus Morris was, you know, almost made it to the final. So, we got some, we got some guys. Is anybody on, a, and as you know, yeah. that has, besides yourself, uh -huh. who plays with that abandon that heart that, that's on our team, that has that, that, that motor, that's mm -hmm. what I'm talking about, has that motor? I would say. Mitchell Robinson and Marcus Morris. Yeah. Those two. They're just, just dogs. How many blocks did he average last? I, mean, I think he averaged two and a half blocks per game. Does, yeah, he, get, does, he, does he block in, in, in practice? It's ridiculous. Like, it's did he stick anything to the backboard? The thing is, he could like be like standing this far from you and then just pretend like you're not doing anything and get your shot. It yeah. makes no sense. It makes no sense. But I'm uh, sure. So tell us about Coach. <sighs> coach Fizdale. Everybody loves him. Mm -hmm. He's just, he's real. Mm -hmm. he, he'll give it to you straight and then off the court, he's just chill. So like, you could you could go out and like have dinner. You could go out and talk to Coach Fizz. Like, mm -hmm. that's that's really good about him and he definitely knows what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. um, he, was My, with, he was with Miami when they yeah, were, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know. So. Do we get like six forwards on the team? Yeah. Uh huh. Thing is, we can all, they can all we can all move. That's the that's the so thing. so they gonna play multiple positions, right? Exactly. So like, even me sometimes I might be I might be playing a point or I might be playing. But where two, where you like, where where they have you playing three? Two. 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 two yeah. We How got tall are you? Six seven. Yeah. We got six eight six nine like across the board. So we gonna be able to just like switch and, and guard. So. Like you said, so what's going to be the formula for us to defense. get back in defense? Defense wins championships. That's, that's, that's what coaches preaching? Defense. Like, what about hustle, right? 
Yeah. Everybody got heart? Yeah, it's a part of it. Uh -huh. We got some dogs. Mm -hmm. That's a part of it. But can't, let me ask you another question. Of all the negative vibes and stuff about our team, are you guys using that as as like fuel? Like, like, all right, mom. Yeah. Can I say I curse? Yes. All right, mom. <laughs> <laughs> we got some for your ass. Yeah, like, we, we love it. Yeah? We love it. I mean, there's nothing better than proving somebody wrong. Mm -hmm. And especially we got a lot of people to look, to prove wrong, right? Exactly. That's cool. Have you seen any of the Brooklyn Nets guys this summer? Nah. Nobody? Nah. I wonder, are they talking smack? I just, I saw, I saw the rookies. What? I ain't worried about it. <laughs> I ain't worried about it. They got, look, I, I'm not going to hate. They got a nice team. They do. They, sure. they got a nice team. Well, everybody's nice. Everybody is not everybody's nice. Everybody's nice, though. Everybody? All the not, teams? Not everybody's like top, top, but everybody's like. Good. You see our record last year? How are we nice? Still good. Still. We had the worst record in the NBA. How is no, that I, nice? I mean, like, the players are But the still players, good. a team is... Yeah. All right. Think about it. Think about it. Think nah, about it. nah, Th nah. Think about this, you though. You can't win this. No, think about this, though. They're in the NBA, right? That yeah, means, but there's different levels. That means levels. they top, what, is it like 450? Yeah, yeah, they go to West 4th Street, they're going to kill okay, somebody. different levels. All right. That's but we're not talking about West 4th Street. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> but the Rucker League. We're talking about the National... Basketball Association. <laughs> and last year, we had the worst team, a record. Yeah. What was our record last year? 17, 65. I have to scratch my chin right here and turn my, make a revolution with my hat. <laughs> 17 and 65. It was a bad year. Well, it was good that you were not part of it. Exactly. So you're going to be the piece. One of the pieces, the. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's what you just got to build off that. But you're definitely not going to be the worst team this year. So, so. so do you see just working with the rookies at that? We're getting some like. Mm hmm. You see it already? I think the young guys click right away, yeah. especially because we play together at Summer League. Mm -hmm. Like, I know Mitch and I play great together, mm -hmm. and Kevin Knox and Alonzo Cheer, like, we play great together. So, like, we already have that sort of chemistry, and now yeah. once the other guys come along, we'll figure you it know, out. You know, Taj Gibson's from Brooklyn, too. True. Sure. You know that? That makes sense. He's... I see the way he plays. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> so, since we're talking about Brooklyn, I grew up in Fort Greene. Okay. The Fort. And there's a hospital in Fort Greene called Cumberland Hospital. You know who was born there? No. Bernard King, Albert King. I heard about that. Mike Tyson and Michael Jordan. Uh -huh. I heard about that, yeah. Born in the hospital, my neighborhood. The GOAT was born. Well, he went to North Carolina, but he was born in Fort Greene, Brooklyn. That's crazy. The People's Republic of Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. So you got Brooklyn, you're, you're. I count. You count, man. Count. You're one of us, baby. You're one of us. I do not. So he got game though, right? I did see that though. Because it's like you don't really know all the movies that he's. Mm -hmm. that he's there's done. a lot. <laughs> like there's. A, I oh, I got a good story them. for you. At the end of the movie. When the father and son agree to play, mm -hmm. Ray Allen the son, Denzel Washington mm -hmm. the father. In the script, Ray Allen, Jesus Schultz was supposed to win 11 zip. Then, you know, Denzel played Junior Varsity at Fordham. Uh -huh. And his JV coach was PJ Carissa. Mm -hmm. Do you know that? I did not know that. So Denzel considers himself a baller. <laughs> so there's no way he didn't he didn't get what the script said. He said I'm scoring at least a basket. So Denzel had the ball first, and he started he started throwing up some shit. It was going in. It was going in, and Ray was getting frustrated. So Ray says to me. Time out, time out, it's not a, gotta say cut. <laughs> time out, time out, not a game. 
And so is his uh, acting coach. His Batson was screaming at him. And Ray's like, Spike, the script said it's supposed to win 11 nothing. I'm like, <laughs> I said, Ray, what do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> and Denzel was getting happy. Then, then Ray said, oh, I, oh, I should. And so Denzel didn't score another basket. <laughs> but for him, it was a moral victory. Yeah. Because he had like five baskets on NBA player. Oh, yeah, he feels nice. He he holding on to that for the rest of his life. Oh, yeah. Felt, like, remember the scene made one basket and he ran around in a circle? Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. So he went around. But Ray was hot. He was like, but That's this funny. is Ray's first film, so the script says I'm winning 11 nothing, so. Mm hmm. But he should have known no, <laughs> that Denzel, he's, he's going to go at least a basket. Yeah. Yeah, he's not going out like that. Nah, he, he was, was not going out yeah. like that. Anything you want to ask me? Yeah. You got a question for me? Yeah. I actually got a lot of questions for you. Yeah. Give me, get, let's start with one. I feel like it takes a certain skill and you have to have like mm -hmm. certain leadership ability to do what you do and mm -hmm. what you've done your whole life. Mm -hmm. So it's like, when did you realize that you had that certain leadership skills or like, how did you develop that? Well, it started very young. Mm -hmm. And our block, we always had, we didn't, in our block, I mean, there was no, it was unorganized. We just, with no leagues, we just played. So mm -hmm. we played stickball, softball, hardball, basketball, punch ball, two-hand, I mean, uh, two-hand touch. So I was, I was never, the best athlete, but I was like the leader. Hmm. So I was always the captain of the team, you know, the rah-rah, mm -hmm. the hustle guy, not the best. But so that's really where it started because when I was little, I know I, I didn't know I wanted to be a filmmaker till the summer between my sophomore and junior years at Morehouse. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we just we just run up and down the street and have fun. Mm -hmm. You know, this is before, you know, and in New York City, they have street games, you know, Coco Livio, Hot Peas and Butter. I mean, all, I mean, <coughs> Red Light, Green Light, one, two, three. It was none of this. Kids had to be inventive, use imagination. So we always had, you know, it, it was different now. Mm -hmm. We were just having fun, just having fun. Awesome. I remember one time I was playing shortstop and that particular day, my father was, uh, was a manager. I mean, like three years in a row. He says, "Spike, <laughs> you, yeah, you, you, going for my phone. Go I'm like, I walked on, I walked on the field like this. I'm sorry, Daddy. Uh, <laughs> uh, True story. Uh, True story. Nah, I was just gonna ask you, like, what's your advice on being successful in New York and how, like, well, make, how to make it here? New York, New York is. I'm glad, you know. To me, it's the greatest city in the world. And, you know, people are hip, so you just can't go for the okie doke. And for the young cats in the league, you just gotta surround yourself with positive people, mm -hmm. you know? You know, because you just gotta, you know, keep your eyes and ears open, you know, and not, not, not go for the okie doke, you know? So, but I'm not worried about you. But it's just, it's just, any athlete would tell you this, no matter what sport, when you're on a team that's winning in New York, there's nothing like it. And the players that will be on the team that brings an NBA championship, your Knicks, I mean, Joe Namath, he won, he promised Super Bowl. We beat the Colts in Super Bowl. We promised it. He still doesn't have to buy a meal in New York. And that was 1969. I mean, like, just Jeter and, and I mean, there's everybody. If you, if you bring a championship to New York, you're, you're good here forever. You're, you're like a, a, a stratosphere because we care so much about sports, not to say that nobody else does. But this is the biggest stage. And, and the garden, I mean, when, when we're winning and the garden is rocking, 
I was there. Like John said, that four point play. Mm-hmm. It was like the roof blew up. Patrick to put back against the paces and jumped on the scores table like that. I mean, like starts dunking over. Yes, Michael, you were in it. Even though you deny it, Mike, <laughs> you were in the picture. <laughs> ah, that's great. I mean, it's just like, again, Willis Reed walking on the court, dragging his leg, May 8th, 1970. So I just hope one, you know, we're like that again, because now it's different. Mm-hmm. You know, we just got to get back to where we were. And, and I believe in coach, you know, Happy you with us, and you know all that negativity. Not listening to it, mm-hmm. no matter what people were dicting, all that stuff. We just gotta, you know, drown it out, and you know, just play hard, and and I think we had the pieces, you know, that that you know that that we got where we need to go. And. Athletes could be human beings, and when they see a team they think they could kill, you know, they, they get lax, and then they get waxed, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. And that's where I think that we could sneak a lot of guys because they don't have, you know, respect for us all, you know, but still, we gotta, we gotta play. Yeah, sure. We gotta play. I was gonna say, what are your interests besides like sports and filmmaking? Uh, music. music. Love, 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 music. love music. I've too. been very lucky to, to work with uh, Miles Davis, Michael Jackson. Prince, a whole, you know, whole bunch of people. And uh, for me, I mean, I just have so much respect for, for musicians, you know, athletes too, but musicians. And uh, I've just been blessed because, I mean, I never, growing up, I never think this stuff, I didn't even know what, I, mean, I went to movies, but I know you. people made them just go to the movies. You know, so my mother was the one who introduced me to movies. Uh, my father hated movies, so I'm, I was the eldest of five, so I was my mother's uh, movie date. So I went just to have fun, but I never thought ever that it would be a career, because I didn't know any, any, I mean, there were, there were people like Oscar Show and Ozzy Davis, but I, as a kid, I didn't know who these, these mm-hmm. black directors were. So but I'll tell you this though, I got my season tickets for the Knicks the morning after we got Patrick Ewan in the draft. <laughs> now there's a lot of conspiracy about that, <laughs> that draft, how the Knicks, but we'll, we'll leave that alone. So when I got my tickets, before they were a different color, so I was in the green section. Mm. So every year, who, 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 my God, because those courtside seats, you couldn't buy them. They would just give them out. And then somebody said, my man told me, yo, they're getting ready to sell the seats. So I'm letting you know. I said, bet. So I've been there, you know, ever since. I don't know. That's great. Who was it's in Patrick Ewan's draft? He was the first pick, right? Yeah. Yeah. First pick. Who was even in that draft? Michael Jordan was the third pick. No. That was that draft? No, I'm just saying, though. No. Michael Jordan was the third pick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that. Shoot, that was the third have you pick. Met, have you met Mike yet, MJ? Never. Mullen? Uh-huh. Hey. Charles Oakley. Charles Oakley. Oakley. Oh, that's a good draft. Who? Joe oh, Dumas? Joe Dumas? Oh, that's a good, that's a good draft class. Yeah. Harry Porter, Sam Mitchell, Mike Mario Eber. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's, 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 that's a good job. Yeah. Right there. Oh, have you met any of the other old, the, speak to Walt, Walt Frazier? I have. I met Walt Frazier. Yeah. Always got a crazy suit on. <laughs> always. Yeah, the, you saw the cowhide one or was it? Di- always got a crazy suit on. Oh, who else did I meet? What is his name? He still works for the next now. Alan Houston. Yes, Alan Houston. <laughs> Can I give you some advice, please? Mm. I know all these guys that saw him play. And I always ask, I ask Clyde, ask Earl of Pearl Monroe, ask 
Bill Bradley, uh, Oak, Larry Johnson. I said, individually, I said, Do these young cats are these on the Knicks, have they ever come up to you and asked you, like, how you do this shit? Walt Frazier, one of the top 50 players, one of my favorite Knicks ever, he said, in all the years he's been broadcasting, not one New York Nick guard has ever come to him and said, Clyde, can you teach me something? Clyde, how you do this? How you do that? Mm -hmm. So I don't want you to make, make the same mistakes. So when you, when you during the season, you're gonna see, you see Allen up at the utility, mm -hmm. but during the season, Starks is there. Larry Johnson, say, let me buy you lunch. Sit down with these guys. These are the greatest players ever. I asked, you know what? I asked Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I said, Kareem, has any player ever said, can you show me how to do the skyhook? He said, no. The greatest shot. Kareem skyhook, and he told me himself, no one's ever come and said, Kareem, can you show me how you did that? I don't stand that. If I if I had the ability to ask Alfred Hitchcock, <laughs> you know, like even when I see guys now, Lucas Spielberg, my man Scorsese, I, ask, I say, how'd you do that? And every single, every time I ask the question, any of those great filmmakers, they tell me, they take time out and say, Spike, here's how I did that. So don't you have to be Nick players. Mm. Surprisingly, if you go to these old cats, they feel good that a young player is coming to them and ask them, say, how'd you do this? You might be there for an hour. <laughs> so, when you see these guys, take say, you know what, let me take it. Even like, like Clyde, those guys on the road. When they do broadcast, Clyde, let me buy you breakfast. I'm telling you. There's so much knowledge, but if you don't ask people, just some things you don't know. And when you see greats have done this again and again and again, they got knowledge and wisdom. As I said before, repeat myself, they're willing to give. But those cats, they're not gonna volunteer it. Cause then say, oh, this guy just thinks I'm just some old boy, da, da, da. Nah, but if you go to them, boom. Where is Bond? Serious. That's good. Nah, they, they, don't be afraid, man. Those guys were like, here's how we did this. Say like you got like, going getting ready to play Milwaukee. See one of the guys I'm talking about. How, if, how would you play this guy? Mm. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Your father told you that anyway. <laughs> Good luck, man. Thank you. In your rookie season. Yes, sir. Let's go, baby. Orange and blue. Yes, sir. Let's go. Hey, man, if you're coming out in the uh, new movies, you know, let me get a... <laughs>